So get ready. Prepare yourself. To say this, God has some specific plans for us, Shiloh. God has some great things he wants to do in us and through us, so get ready. And just as Joshua had prepared the people to take the promised land, the mission is still the mission. I'm gonna share this. We exist to bring God glory through worship, giving service and reproducing followers of Christ. We exist to bring God glory through worship, giving, serving, and reproducing followers of Christ. That mission is still the same, but God has given us a specific focus for 22. The specific word or specific focus that I, I want, that I believe God's leading us to is the word foundational. There's an illustration of building the house in Matthew 7, 24 to 27. He says, therefore, any, everyone who hears these words of mine and puts them into practice is like a wise man who built his house on a rock. The rain came down, the streams rose, the winds blew and beat against the house, yet it did not fall. Why? Because it had its foundation on the rock. But everyone who hears these words of mine and does not put them into practice is like a foolish man who builds his house on the sand. The rain came down, the streams arose, the winds blew and beat against the house, and it fell with a great crash. The word foundation, without a solid foundation, nothing is going to be able to withstand the storms of life. Without a solid foundation, we will still be looking at each other like we're on different pages. Without a solid foundation or understanding of foundational things, things that are rock solid, you won't be able to build anything upon it. It'll be like the sand. And what happens when we build on sand? It falls with a great crash. So as we start going through these next few weeks, we start thinking about foundational things. I believe God's leading us to, to, to understand doctrine. And what, and what do I mean by that word? It's things we believe and say we believe. And for some of you, maybe you've built the foundation of your life with only one brick. That one thing is not gonna withstand and hold you up. It's not very stable if your goal is to build a house. Maybe you've built the foundation of your life on things that are not 100% of God. Those bricks need to be removed and reset properly because that foundation isn't very stable. And maybe you've built your foundation and it's done, but the problem is you start to have cracks and holes in it. Still solid, but in need of repair. God is saying, get ready as we experience the foundational things of him. Get ready to build, get ready to fix, get ready to start over. Foundational. 